Becoming a therapist, it requires licensure. And so once I became licensure, I, was, I became a therapist. And what happens is the group facilitator counsels in the group rooms, the therapists, we individually work with the patient. So if they're learning about coping skills, in a group environment. They come with us in the individual environment and we work on application. In the group rooms, they learn the knowledge. In the counseling rooms, they learn the knowledge of coping skills. Then when they come in individual therapy, they learn how to apply these skills. We teach them with application. We do person-centered therapy to help them process their emotions and how to handle their emotions and what coping skills can help with those emotions. The group counselors and the individual therapists, we work really closely together to make sure that the patient has a well-rounded treatment. Talk to the patient, build rapport, and kind of find out emotionally what's going on. But once they get here, once they see the process, once they see that we're all invested in their recovery and they start to dig into those emotions, they, they generally open up and they start to work with us. Educating them on this disease and giving them coping skills so that they can achieve and maintain recovery. Some of our patients will live in sober living and still stay connected to us and continue individual therapy and continue with our medical, get them therapists in at their location, get them set up medically, a sober living in their state because we do take patients from other states. So we make sure that they have a solid and safe discharge. We want them to stay connected and we have the pleasure of having some patients come back and let us know how well they're doing. Thank you.